under his nose. That yeah, his giant cut. Like, that a is minute, a yeah. crazy cut, man. He's just stitched the fuck up all over the place. That is rough, man. His whole face got lacerated. I mean, that is a lot of cuts. Yeah. It's a, that's more like a Muay Thai fight, and it really makes you think. But again, I'm best. Few events leave behind images as arresting as fights do. They eternally pause the most intolerable of moments and provide indisputable evidence of just how much the ring demands of the will. But even if the spectacle has always been about what is visible, the craft is forever based in what is not. For you can never see a fighter's most important weapons. And you're always left to imagine exactly what he carries into a bout. Resources like desire burnish a legacy by eliminating any lingering elements of uncertainty. Assets like desperation to bring history in line with what you're convinced is already reality. The security of the knowledge that you've been taught by the very best. The promise of new approaches perfectly tailored for the tempo of this brutal pursuit. An obligation to triumph on behalf of so many who have so little. An urge to prevail for those who will never lose faith in what you can make possible. Kid asked me yesterday, he said, why, how do you want a bare knuckle fighting? Why aren't you just a boxer? And I said, because I love fighting, and it's a different type of fighting, and I'm good at it.